So to tell us more about this campaign and give us some advice about how we can help reduce the wastage, we're joined by the Department of Health's pharmaceutical advisor, Maria Bell. And you mentioned at the top of the show, Maria, that there are lots of reasons um, that people waste uh, prescription items. Like what? what? What are we doing wrong? Well, it's estimated that about 30 to 40 percent of, of all the medicines that are wasted is probably unavoidable. So um, if you are starting on a medication that doesn't work out for you, you have to stop taking it. That's natural wastage. Um, the avoidable ones are the ones that we'd like to do something about. And I think we're all guilty of this. Um, you go to order a prescription and you don't know what you've got at home. So you just tick everything. Um, alternatively, and I think this is just probably misconception some people think that if they don't order everything every month it's going to drop off their repeats and um, I can assure them that does not happen and um, so genuinely you know please only consider what you genuinely need for that month um, and I think also we have a little bit of work to do around the pharmacies who order for people and um, making sure that they actually only request what's required. The problem is, is that items which have been dispensed, even if they're still in date, even if they haven't yeah. been opened, they can't be reissued. Why is that? Yeah, we get a lot of queries about this to the department. Um, the MHRA um, in the UK actually issued a statement that medicines can't be reused, and that's primarily for patient safety. So we don't know how they're stored in patients' homes, and we can't guarantee that they haven't been tampered with. So it's it's about protecting the public, really. Um, and lots of people take vast amounts of stuff back to the pharmacy and they're really shocked when we have to say, we're going to throw that away. So the minute it leaves the store, um, it's, um, it's no good anymore. But when it comes to unwanted items and things that you're just not using, is it still right to take it back to the pharmacy for them to get rid of? Yeah, I think there's a few issues here. So again, patient safety. If you have... Um, a stockpile, for want of a better word, of medicines at home, that's a risk. Children can get hold of it. You you also, are pr you've got a very high chance of taking medicines that have gone out of date. They may either not work or they might actually do you harm. So um, please take them back to the pharmacy. Um, there was some research done to say that in every Western country, there's detectable amounts of medicines in the water system. So people are throwing them down the toilet and, um, and it's just so bad for the environment. So for everyone's sake, if you take them back to the pharmacy, they're disposed of properly. I have heard, and I don't know whether this is true, um, but I have heard some people passing on um, some of their own medicines to friends who perhaps have um, shown similar symptoms. Mm. Is there a, a general sort of warning about that? Yeah, I, I, I guess, I, I suspect everyone knows the answer to that, um, but the reasons for it are probably less clear. So please don't share medicines ever. Um, one of the main things is, as, as a healthcare team, your doctor, your pharmacist, whomever, your dentist, will be treating you based on the medicines that they think you're taking. And if you have substances in your body that are not meant to be there, um, they can't give you the proper care. They might be giving you something that's risky, it might interact, it might cause problems. So only take what you're prescribed. You know, that's the safety message. So then we're talking about this campaign. It's being launched on Monday. How's it going to work? So we did a little bit of this last year. Um, the, the lovely community pharmacists on Ireland did an audit for two weeks about all the medicines that were brought back and we actually costed it. It's quite a big piece of work. And if you extrapolated that out over the whole year, it was over £300,000 that, that, that we were bringing back to the pharmacies. And that's only a fraction of what's in people's cupboards. Um, so it... It's a little bit around money, but it's also just as important to consider the safety. Um, so what the campaign is about is raising people's awareness. The message is only order what you need. Um, and also don't be surprised if when you go to the pharmacy, they ask you to check your bag before you leave. And that's going to be, um, it's a legitimate um, kind of technique now that's used across England because Often uh, people order things by mistake or the GPs may give you something that you didn't ask for. If you give it back to the pharmacy at that point, then they can put it back into stock. If you leave, we cannot. So, so be prepared to, to check your medicine bag. Mark, is this something that happens in the dentistry world as well then? Yeah, a lot. Um, you get someone come in with toothache and uh, the, the sort of comment is, well, my friend gave me some antibiotics that they had because when they had toothache, they seem to work. And so there's sort of two questions is, okay, well, why have they still got them? Um, and did, you know, 
are they medically trained? Have they just given you the pills and gone, go with these? These these work for me. I've got a few left. Try those. So the the danger, as you were saying, the cross reaction between drugs. Um, you know, the pharmacies, the brilliant. If if I prescribe something, the patient might take it down to the pharmacy, and the pharmacist will always check just to make sure that something I've given isn't going to cross react with something that you know they're already on. Um, but I check that myself as well. Uh, so you've you've got a sort of it's a it's a second safety net. But um, yeah, no, the number of times patients do you know if they've uh, oh, I've taken my friend's one and it didn't seem to work. I didn't feel ill, but it didn't work. Still got toothache. Yeah, so don't do that, Maria. Eh? I'd That's rather people didn't. Yeah. <laughs>